If you were to stop collecting comics today, how would you feel about your collection? Are you where you want to be at the end of your comic collecting journey? In today's episode, we'll be answering the question, what if you stopped collecting comics? Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. I'm Alan, and in today's sesh, we'll be answering a compelling question that came up about my collection and my buddy Johnny's collection. So we've been collecting for a couple years now, and every year we kind of have this year to year goal essentially. And I kind of see that as more of this short term goal, but is it really fitting the long long term goal? Are we really collecting for where we want to be? Who are we actually collecting for? To help bring up some of the answers to these questions, I'm gonna bring in my buddy Johnny to help me with this complex subject. Hey there, Johnny. Hey, what's up, Alan? Thanks for having How's me. Going? Good. Hey, good. And this is such a deep question that that we're asking here. <laughs> yeah. So uh, like, uh, let me give some background as to why this came up, right? So okay. we talked about this topic, you know, probably a year ago in our early on podcasts. So throughout this year, the way that we've collected kind of has changed and it's brought up this bigger question. Like I've collected only for 2020, I've collected only for 2021, but does this actually fit my long-term collecting goal? So I know last week we talked about who are you collecting for? Are you collecting for yourself? Are you willing to, or you're trying to pass this on to your kids? Are you trying to like sell this at the end of your comic collecting journey? So let's, let's start off with that question, Johnny. Like who, who are you collecting? Yeah, and I thought about that. I feel like I'm collecting for my childhood self, like the kid who thought, oh, wow, these are like such, you know, mile, important milestones in comic book history that I feel like I'm holding a piece of history. You know, even though it's just printed in like 1973, I feel like this is like some like Dead Sea Scroll, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, Stonehenge type of artifact that I'm holding because it just feels that important. And yeah, yeah and, so yeah. yeah, that and I would say maybe collecting for, you know, something to pass down to. So um, something that will sort of like hold it sentimental and hopefully monetary value as the years go on. Yeah, yeah. Th this is one thing we brought up before. As years go by, these books are not getting any younger, right? <laughs> so preservation yeah. and slabbing and everything is is starting to come into light for for everyone in collecting because they want to preserve these books that's true right I, yeah like someone someone has to be really conscientious about switching out like bags and boards if they're not doing the slabbing route if they want to maintain that book yep. to be the way it is how about yeah, you Alan? So, yeah so for, for me going back to the question what if we stop collecting today and i looked mm -hmm. at my collection uh, you know, I've I've only restarted collecting since 2019, so I don't have as many books as some of these um, kind of more veteran collectors. But, you know, limiting the amount of space that I have for my comics and making sure that I don't extend past that space made me really wonder, like, am I collecting how I want my collection to be at the end of my career? I obviously want, want to pass this on to the next generation, but am I going to pass on, like, you know, 5,000 books to the next person? I, and I, I'll have to say that my goal will definitely probably change, but my goal right now is if I'm just looking at the big, big picture long term, I would want my collection to be a small set of books, right? Uh -huh. I'd, you know, end up trading or, or selling certain books so I could get uh, very specific books that I want, or maybe like maybe a couple of short boxes, but essentially that being the representation of, of the books that I would want at the end. Okay, so, so. you don't want to have like thousands and thousands. You want to have maybe a couple of short boxes of things that would just like knock your socks off. Yeah, well, it could be more sentimental to me. It could mm -hmm. knock my socks off. They could be like storylines that I'd want to pass on because, you know, in this digital age, I'm reading a lot on my iPad, right? From, you know, Comixology, DC and Marvel app and, and all of that good stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm getting the stories, but I think what I want to have in my collection are both sentimental for me because they have some stories behind me obtaining the book, 
or they have some um, you know significance uh, or keys per se, right? Yeah. Yeah. So then, why? So then, why have all those variant covers and those extra issues? Then <laughs> you know, I, I think yes. about that when you you know when you tell me that because like I think I have a similar goal too because like what are you gonna do with you know all these comics that aren't part of your end product? Yeah, yeah, and that and that's the thing because it's funny because I have behind me some Marx Brooks uh, connecting variants from uh, from House and Powers, yeah. so that was. This is why I feel like this conversation is so important because, all right, let me preface this. So I, you know, on YouTube, everyone has like their top five lists or their um, like, you know, five tips for X, Y, or Z. And I always was like, all right, how, how could I condense what I've learned thus far into five separate things, right? And my first thing was always defining my end game or defining my goal. Mm -hmm. And you know, if my goal is, you know, to have a couple of of books at the end that fit in a couple short boxes, as collecting variant covers really the way to go. So for me, it's all right. This kind of ties in with a second kind of tip that I had for myself is okay. being willing to play the long game, right? I might have variants today, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna have these same variants 20 years from now, right? Maybe I could flip these and then they could turn themselves into a key book later on. But, you know, maybe that's also me lying to myself. <laughs> just <laughs> myself to no, it is. A, it is hard to say like when like when a book might turn into a key. But yeah, you're right. At some point in this journey, you will have to flip some of these books or you'll just have them around and they'll be like, you know, part, you know, I guess like an extra part of your end product but yeah <laughs> you have so, like two like you know really good short boxes and a bunch of long boxes behind it that <laughs> you're like and that stuff that's extra stuff but i i do need to write down this long-term goal right mm -hmm. and then i think we'll probably go over that in the future but it is to essentially limit the amount of books that i have into something that i would be kind of proud of right so so then what and, if you stop yeah. collecting today? Would you be like, what, um, would you be satisfied or, or is there like one or two or three or four or 10 more things that would really round out your collection? Um, if I were to stop today, there'd be probably five to seven books that I would want to round out my collection. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. And then. Honestly, that that's the those are the tier one books, right? Obviously, there are other ones that you know fill out like the number eight through fifteen. Because I haven't collected as long as many people have, so I don't yeah. have as many of the like the key books that I I find super important in my collection. So, are those are are those set of five to seven books? Are they like things that you can see yourself getting or are they like action comics number one and you're like well you know <laughs> <laughs> hey, i mean maybe hey, something like yeah yeah, yeah maybe contribute. yeah maybe some you know maybe you'll like buy some new bitcoin thing and then I mean, maybe you'll be on there <laughs> yeah i'll flip my two mark marks brooks uh connecting covers for uh <laughs> i'll keep trading up like that ebay guy that kept trading up until he got a car um, oh yeah, is that something? But, um, did? I, yeah, I yeah, it. someone, yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, those those books are actually somewhat attainable, but I would have to do some work, right? Because mm -hmm. right now, I've like you know saved up. I have like um, separate like funds that I keep for comics alone, and I kind of feed into that. But you know, I, I want to like have the hobby pay for itself, and that's a big part of the next step, right? So. Yeah yeah have, what about you have you like flip books in order to get grails no or... i want to do that though it's like that's definitely one of my goals I, I think i mentioned that i forget if we talked about it in the podcast or not but uh yeah that that is one of my goals is to eventually flip one but that's gonna be a lot of work it's gonna be you know like either i would have like a listing on one of those websites that have like a whole box or i do it one by one i just can't like yeah. i don't even know what the first step of that process is but it's definitely going to be a step in the journey because yeah like you're saying you know 
there's a lot of books that I felt good while I bought it and some books I don't feel that attached to. And mm -hmm. then I think, you know, do I have to have this around? Probably not. But then there's that feeling of, wait, but if I held on to it, maybe it might even get even more expensive. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we should talk yeah. about like when to like call it because I don't know when to call it, you know, like exactly. when, with the book. And yeah, exactly. and I think that's a question that we have to work on as like as time goes on, because you know, if this is our goal is to, you know, have a night and tidy set of comics, then yeah, turn the fat. Yeah, this is exactly why I'm glad we're having this conversation now. Um, you know, maybe more so for me because I'm kind of earlier than you, but like kind of this is a good time to, you know, look at what we have and and figure out is this getting closer to our goals, right? And yeah. one of the things that I, I think this, so I'm going to call this my third tip, right? So um, the things that I've learned thus far, the principles that I've learned thus far in comic collecting that has worked for me, I've started to write down, right? Because, you know, I haven't gone into uh, selling and flipping books to, to gain grails and stuff like that. But, you know, some of the things that work for me or don't work for me, I've started to write down in terms of, hey, let's, you know, turn off some eBay searches. Let's, um, yeah. like, you know, not not try to buy the the next hot variant cover by this artist and this is this is what we're going to do at the end of this year right i think the fourth thing is to assess where we are currently to see <laughs> hey are we getting are we kind of course correcting in the right direction or are we going the wrong direction yeah and you know it's it's, it's funny to like think about the goals because and, and the question like what would you stop i mean like what would you how do you feel if you stopped today because i feel like if i stopped today i would be I, I think I'll be satisfied. Like, I think the only big girl I wanted was like GSX one. And then like everything else was sort of gravy after that. It was like, oh yeah, oh, nice. you know, and this is cool. And that is cool too. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. And because of that, I think it's hard for me to like narrow down my eBay searches and stuff like that, because it's like, oh, oh okay. which is what, you know, which one do I want next? But then like, I, but I, th I think you're right in terms of like, e e even if you don't have like strict goals as to like what you want your collection to look at the end, there's, you know, there's gotta be priorities at least, you know, so you don't yeah. just have the feelers for everything all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like overwhelming, yeah. But this is why I'm glad I'm talking to you about this topic because like, I would call you more of a veteran than I am in this, in this like com comic connect collecting journey, right? Because you've had more time to um, figure out what you want, what you like, where you want your collection to be. But I'm kind of still year by year saying, oh, this is my this is my goal this year. This is my goal next year. But they seem like very different goals from year to year, right? They're not, there's no like one trend direct uh, trajectory for this. So I definitely will need to to, to start writing stuff down and, and, and kind of going my way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, oh, and, and on the bright side, you know, say, you know, maybe two years from now, you think, oh, wait, I want my collection to look like this. You could flip every book that you have right now and then just like go to that new goal if you wanted to. That would be so, yeah. that would be neat if you did that. Ooh, I would I would love to see that happen great. if you do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I imagine every book you pick up, you're like, oh, this, do I want to not have this one anymore? <laughs> But I, but I look at it, right? Um, I look at prices of books right now, and I look at five of my books and how much they're selling for. I'm like, would I rather have these five or would I rather have this one, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. like, some of these five, I would definitely, like, in a heartbeat, just, you know, trade them for, for what my gold book would be. And I wouldn't look back. Um, but that's some of the things I need to learn, right? Because um, that's why I'm learning so much from you and, like, kind of, like, getting some advice from you like probably off off camera and stuff like that about like collecting and like what's worked for you and what hasn't worked for you maybe in the future a future episode we could talk about like you know things to avoid and, and whatnot but um, yeah there's a psychology yeah. to this you know like i was thinking about what you're saying about if you had a list of five would you get the like, those five easy those five easy ones or the one hard one and i wonder how do you feel if you had those five easy ones, like, would you like have the heart to flip it? You know, you yeah. know, if you actually had them, because right now it's all theoretical. It's like, you it's theoretical, them, but, but yeah. that aligns so much with 
if if my end goal is to take a lot and make it a little bit but of something i value more that's exactly that right taking the five and changing it to one yeah that yeah, i value yeah. more yeah exactly man just kind of so just kind of looking at this um I don't know. This is the fifth tip I gave myself in in terms of of collecting. But you know, I say this. This is the mantra I say at the end of every episode is to to make it your own, right? So, seeing your collecting journey and my collecting journey, and knowing that they don't have to be exactly alike, but you know, I could learn from you, and then I could tell you about my stuff, and you could give me some guidance. is is definitely uh, something that I think all these listeners and everyone should kind of take into account. It's make your own story, right? Make your own journey. Don't don't make it someone else's. Like you're collecting, who are you collecting for, right? Is it for yourself or is it for your kids? And is that journey? Are you moving towards that direction?、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got to reach your annual goals. We're like very corporate work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know, we're dilly dallying here. Yeah, we're no, not. And, we're and, not. Yeah, and、we're、I think、not. that's good because yeah, like you're saying, or else like everything that you know, there's so many you know. Interesting things like if you got sidetracked all the time, then when would you be after like a whole, like you know, decades、yeah. worth like, of、uh, fine comic books? Yeah, and I want to just like you know, like before we close this out, say that there's no right or wrong way to collect. Right,、yeah. everyone has their has their own way to collect. This my collecting journey. This might be step one of a hundred. Maybe getting these books is just step one, and then something happens to them in step fifty, and then I actually get to my goal in step one hundred. And you know, there's no right or wrong way to collect, and I think everyone's journey is is quite different actually, and why they collect and who they collect for are very different. So, essentially, for for those like who are watching or listening, I want to hear more about your story and you know answering the question: What if you stop collecting today? Like, are you where you want to be?、Um, where, what do you need to do to get there? And、um, I love learning from my own experiences, from Johnny's experiences, and and everyone else's. So, please put that in the comment section below. If you have any tips, I am always open for feedback. And as Johnny said, this is a,、um, yeah, this is this is kind of a three sixty, right? I want to learn from you, and then、uh, you get to hear about our stories too. So. Thank you, Johnny, for joining me again on this. What if?、Um, hopefully, we get to do a lot more of these because I'm learning a, a bunch just even thinking about these questions. If you like this video, don't forget to give us that thumbs up, subscribe, click that bell icon so you're notified of when we come out with new content. So, from our comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks all. Bye. Bye.